on your your property. This you had this property before, right? Or is this? Yeah, it was uh, eighteen. <laughs> 93, I think, they came in here, or 1883. Okay. But with your oyster farming, did they, how no, did that, you get, how'd you get into that? Uh, my dad started it, uh, yeah, he started it in 1951 with 20 acres over here. Okay, so it's, is it adjoined to your property here? Yeah. It is? Okay. Yeah. That 20 acres is. And then I picked up an, uh well, 50 acres over here. Oh, we'll go, we're going to see. That's a lot of acres. They were going to get into the bedroom. <laughs> he lay right across the door, and that was it. Oh, these are the old plastic ones, right? Eh? These aren't yours, are they, Warren? Pardon? These are yours? No, these are off the barge. Oh yeah. They bro broke away or something. To me. You can see though here already they're already starting to deteriorate. Oh yeah. Yeah, see yeah, that? yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it UV doesn't rays get those any Oh, it doesn't take very long with the plastic. It's gone. And then the next thing you know they're floating around your beaches and Yeah. So you can see where the you can see where the PVC's worn off the corner hooks. Mm -hmm. It's rusted right. These trays are at least 8, 9 years old. see a farm that hasn't really had anything done to it in about two years and you know, I hated the trays that were in the market. They were the plastic trays are just absolute crap. You know, they break, they float. Um, I hate having to put them together the way they're put together. And so I sat down with these guys and they were starting to design this new tray. Beautiful. Take a hundred of those, try them, tried building beach trays for my, my farm site or my uh, beach sites played around with a whole bunch of different things and then over the, a couple of years these guys came up with next generation, next generation and then I just started to buy more and more and you'll see some that are out here that are probably eight years old too. Yeah. Eight, nine years old and uh, they're the cat's ass for, I think, for what we do. And uh, especially for the conditions in this site because we can get up to upwards of five knots of current. So you put a plastic tray in the water, it just sits and skips yep. on the surface and you, and you lose everything. So I went to these new trees and uh, even with small seed in them, you don't need any weight in the bottom. Right. They're surviving pretty well, the trays are so in condition. Yeah. yeah, you'll see when you get up there. Market size, right? Yeah. Well, five dozen. Five dozen? Yeah. That's all? Even once you get inside, it's So you're about one layer high. Oh, yeah. I never go more than that. 
I kept hearing down here that everybody was stacking you know, two and three inches, two and three layers high. I'm going, jeez, because we, we just don't do it. And I haven't seen anybody doing that yet. Not, you know. Four years old, eh? It's pretty good. Yeah. And you can see the, it's got the odd one that's got a bit of a dimple in it. Yeah. And that's just crane operator, right? Yeah. And that's a rubber hammer and it's gone. Yeah. yeah. No big deal at all. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, now, at this size, your air drying is going to get rid of these? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just let them dry up, and then I'll show you on the trays over there. You just give them a push, and if, if there's any moisture inside, leave them a couple more days. And once they're dry, they go back in the water, all the stuff just flakes off. And they'll come out clean the next one. You'll never find a power washer out on my site. I just refuse to do that. It's so time-consuming. Is it? Yeah. Well, you can see, these are, these are four, yourself, guys. four years old. Four years? That barnacle set hit us really hard this year. Usually, I've had stuff in the water for two years down here and, and no barnacle sets at all. Yeah, and this year we've had about three back to back. Pretty frustrating because now the guys got to run through everything as quick as they can. Yes. They're about eight years old, and the only thing the problem we're having with them, like integrally, they're they're perfect. Is this one? We had to look at an oyster and go, I'm going to eat that. And the first person had to actually look at one of those things and decide to eat it. That's pretty gross. Don't think about it. Yeah, I guess he must have been really hungry. Well, Have you noticed a, a, a difference in in the speed of uh, the growth rate between the uh, plastic trays and the wire trays? Oh, by far. Um, I think these grow faster. Yeah. Yeah, by far. And primarily, it's it's a flow issue. Yeah. Yeah, the plastic ones. And then it's pretty hard to get oysters to grow very well when they're all piled in one corner because the trays are up, skipping on the surface. Yeah. And then I hate using. Um, tons of bricks in the bottom tray. And yeah, I noticed Warren. Warren has said that before too, but you know, yeah. the more you hear it, now you're keeping the more your you believe it. The whole time. All the way through. Really? Yeah, I, I thought I wasn't going to need them, and the first year I learned the hard way. They'll get their little bums stuck in there, and they'll grow in. That's a nightmare trying to get them out. So I leave the liners in all the way through. Does it really seem to matter which size liner you get? You look, here you got about a quarter inch and there's an eighth inch. Oh. Yes, size. Just as long as it's a liner so you can replace it if you need to. Yeah, yeah and just, just so they can't get stuck in the in the corners and the edges. Um, I think if you were tumbling more frequently, you wouldn't have to have them. Just because they wouldn't have a chance to grow in. But, you know, a lot of times our month schedule...